everybody. Brad Nessler here with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit bringing you today's exciting matchup. A mild, clear day is what we'll have for the Pittsburgh Panthers and the West Virginia Mountaineers. What we have today is referred to as the backyard brawl, and with good reason. These two Big East rivals have little affection for one another. And here come the Mountaineers. The Panthers are a confident bunch of kids, and rightfully so. Kirk, this team is just too powerful. Pittsburgh is led by their running back. Now, I had a chance to talk to him about this game, and believe me, he is ready to run all over this defense. Coach, I expect him to have a big game on the ground. Nice pick, Kirk. I'm going with the Panthers. feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. Kicks it off. Number seven fields it at the three. There's a fumble. Number 84 recovers a loose ball. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Flip it on the receiving team. That one will put the offense in a hole, and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. This safety's a big-time player, but he's going to have to play his best game today. He faces a quarterback that can make you pay if you're not careful. I'm predicting an interception by this kid today. Ha! I like that. Kurt making a call. Let's see if he picks off one before this game is over. Play action with the throw. Has his fullback. They fake the handoff and complete the pass. Good for six yards. Second and four. Ball on the 15-yard line. From the gun. Nice play fake. He'll dump this one off. And it's caught. Brought down. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is the first down. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 26. Pittsburgh lines up with three receivers. Trick play might not work. And they got him for a loss. Second and long, ball on the 18. Pittsburgh goes with the ace set here. He drops back, steps up in the pocket, across the middle, that close to being intercepted. They don't have too many chances at those. They dream of catching the ball and running with it. Yo, I guess that's why it's a dream. They're down and long coming up here. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Panthers come out showing three wide. Back to pass. He steps up, looks. He's in trouble, and he's going to be sacked. Now that's some heavy pressure. It all starts with the battle up front. I don't care how good your receivers are or how explosive your running backs are. If you can't control the line of scrimmage, then it's tough to move the football. I agree, Coach. And the thing is, this quarterback can make some plays for you if you give him enough time back there to throw. Well, it looks like he's going to have to figure out how to make plays without time. Punt this one away. Number 18 punts it, and it's a good one. Number 19 fields it for 42. We'll get a chance to see if this offense can fare any better than their counterparts. They'll start this drive at the 46. Yeah. 
They line up in a double tight set. They'll run the option. And now he pitches it. And now the ball is loose. Number 82 with a recovery. Are you kidding me? They recover the fumble, but man, oh man, was that a close call. Mmm. Hmm. Ugly. That's about as ugly as an option can look. Well, it certainly wasn't pretty, that's for sure. But like Brad said, they recovered the football. It's part of the pass now, so they just need to forget about it and focus on their next play. The Mountaineers line up with three wide. Throws it to the outside. Complete. Well, Coach, a short pickup on that pass play. It was, but you know what? As long as they've got those guys getting open underneath, it'll take a lot of pressure off those offensive linemen who are trying to hold their blocks. It's third down and seven to go. Ball right around midfield. West Virginia lines up for the shotgun set. Here's a draw. What a collision. Boy, that was a bad looking play. It all starts with the big guys up front. You gotta get out of your blocks. Punt this one away. It's a high kick, and it holds up there. Number seven signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 25. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll take over at the 25-yard line. Number three lines up in the shotgun. Here's the give. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. And that was a good stop by the defense. They got him in the backfield. That's a great example of quickness by the defensive line. It allows you to break away from those blockers before they have a chance of moving you away from the play. They'll bring in their dime package. Drops back to pass. Steps up. He's looking. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Throws this one out to the right. With that pressure, he just couldn't do much with it. His chance of accuracy on that throw was practically zero. Good job by the defense. Number three comes to the line with three wide. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket, looking. And it's incomplete. And this one could be on the defense. He earned that yellow flag, guys. Yep, he worked hard to break up that pass. A little too hard. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 30. The Panthers line up in a split back set. They'll throw on first down. Looks, throws it to the outside. Get him out of his hands. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. Second and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. The Panthers line up with four wideouts. Nice play fake. Throws this one out to the right. They complete that play action pass. Good for seven yards. Third down and three coming up. Ball on the 37. Pittsburgh comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Setting up the play action. He rolls out to the right. Going for the home run. Got a man. Poor pass and his tight end couldn't reach it. this one off and it's a beauty number 19 takes it to 15 and now we'll see the offense coming out onto the field for their next possession they'll 
They'll set up shop at the 24-yard line. Two tight ends set. On the ground with the tailback. And he's taken down. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Three-yard gain on the foot. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. They're lining up in the 5-2. Up the middle with a fullback. He juke. And down he goes. A five-yard gain. On the run. Five-yard gain on the play. Third and two. Ball on their own 32. West Virginia comes to the line with three wide. They'll give it off here. Got an opening. Makes a move. And he's tackled. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there, running the football by this guy. It's first and 10, ball on the 46-yard line. The Mountaineers come out in the ace formation. A little juke. Inside the 30, to the 10, and he will score. Nice call, nice blocking, and an even better run. Those guys up front must have been hitting those sleds pretty hard in practice. The only reason this kid was able to show his big playability was because the offensive lineman executed their assignments to perfection. Under a minute now in the first quarter, and the score, West Virginia, seven, Pittsburgh, nothing. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Number seven, back to the and they'll be returning this one. Number seven fields it in the end zone. Down the sideline. I don't know if you guys saw this, but the coach gave his offense quite a speech before he sent him out there. Now, let's not forget, they had some things clicking the last time out. He's probably just reminding them to finish the job this time. They'll go to work at the 35. The Panthers line up with three wide. There's a play fake. Going deep, lays it out there. He brings it down. Touchdown. Look at that. For a second there, I could have scored that back end of football. Beautiful play. Yeah, I don't know if it was the offensive coordinator, the head coach, or just the quarterback checking off, but my hat goes off to whoever called that play. Tacks on the extra point. Under a minute now in the first quarter, and the score Pittsburgh 7, West Virginia 7. Number eight, 
13. Ready to kick. Here's the kick. Number 18 fields it in the end zone. They get the ball back after a touchdown on their last possession. And the reason why they scored last time was because of the way they ran the football. Yeah, you're right, Lee. They drove almost a length of the field. Let's see if they can put some more points up on the board. West Virginia lines up in a shotgun set. They hand off on the counter. And they got him for a loss. Loss of two. Second down and 12. Ball on the 18-yard line. Two tight ends here. Here's the give. He spins. Brought down. They'll get two on that one. On the carry. Gain of two on the play. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. And that's the end of the first quarter, and we've got a tie ball game. Third and ten. Ball on their own 20. Two tight ends set. Drops back to pass. He's looking. Let's it go. It's dropped. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time. He just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. The Mountaineers are lining up to punt it away. He gets it off. Number seven, fields it at the 39. Passing wasn't much of a problem the last time this offense had the ball, as they were able to get it in for six. They'll start this drive at the 40. The Panthers come out in the ace formation. Setting up the play action. He's rolling right. Fires deep down the right side, and they tackle him. Move those sticks. That's a first down and a great catch, too. Did you see how he looked that one in? Well, oh, there's no doubt about it. He can catch the football. <laughs> 11 yards out. in the gun. It's a direct snap. And down he goes. Not much help from his blockers and he's only able to gain a yard. They come out with a big set. On the ground with a tailback. Who shake and bake move. And he's taken down. The running back gives them six yards on the ground. Game of six on the play. Let's see if they can punch this one in. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He's going right. And he makes his second visit to the end zone with that catch. Well, that was a great catch by the receiver. He ran a perfect route to get open for his second score of the game. And he hits the PAT. And here's the Pontiac drive summary.
Pittsburgh lines up for the kickoff. Number seven and number 18 back deep to return. Sends it sailing downfield. Number seven fields it in the end zone. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll get the ball here at the 19-yard line. The Mountaineers line up with two tight ends. Back to pass. He steps up. He tosses it short, and it's caught. Brought down. They'll get six yards. It's second down and four to go. Ball in the 25. Number 11 has four receivers lined up here. Breaks one, and he's going to lose yards on this one. That didn't go anywhere. Yeah, I'll tell you why. They would come with a heavy blitz, and guys were shooting through the line right into the backfield. That play didn't have a chance. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 24. They come out with a big set. Juku, they'll bring him down, and they get a nice gain on third down. Remember when we talked to the coach? He mentioned that he wanted to run the ball against this defense, and he felt that he may have some success. Well, they had some success on that play. It's first and 10, ball on the 32. And this impact linebacker is fired up down there. Just a nice play by the defense. They're not fooled at all on this draw play. You're right, they were all over that play. Second and 13, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. Number 11 lines up in the shotgun. Here's the give. Tackle. And that was an excellent run there. Yeah, Brad, but it was also great blocking up front by the offensive line to open up the hole. It's first and ten, and this is the sixth play of the drive. Going with the shotgun here. Again with a carry. He's got an opening. And he's taken down. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job in reading his blocks and accelerating through the hole. First and ten. This is the seventh play of this drive. The Mountaineers with four receivers. Looking. Steps up. Wants to throw outside. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. The Mountaineers come out in the ace formation. Pitch is right. Big opening. And they make the stop. A big gain for the halfback. You know, when we talked to the coach yesterday, he said they were going to run it over, up, and around this defense. Well, here they got a nice gain on the old toss play. It's first and ten. Ball on the 27. The Mountaineers line up with three wide. Oh, what a hit. West Virginia takes a timeout. Second and nine. This is the tenth play of this drive. Number 11 is back in the gun. Uh-oh, high snap. Steps up in the pocket, and he drops it. Wow, Kirk. Was he open or what? He got open all right. 
But getting open doesn't do your team any good if you can't catch the football. I agree 100%. Hang on to the football, sweetheart, please. West Virginia comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Looks. He's looking for his man. It's dropped. The big guy let it go through his fingers. The tight end's hands are all torn up and his knuckles are swollen. Can block it every day in practice. You gotta give this guy a break. I don't know about that, coach. Nowadays, tight ends gotta be able to do more than just block. He should have caught that ball. Number 44 comes in to kick the field goal, and he's going to have to get a leg into this one. He gets it up. No good. He missed it to the left. They'll set up shot at the 26-yard line. Pittsburgh lines up with a split backfield. They'll throw on first down. He passes it. Complete. Loss of about two. It's second down and 12 to go. Ball on the 24. They'll work from the shotgun. Drop back to pass. Throws. And it's caught. Tackle. Pittsburgh calls a timeout. First and ten. Ball on their own 37. They line up in the shotgun. He drops back. He steps up. He's looking. Rose. Complete. And he's taken down. Pittsburgh takes a timeout. Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 42. Number three lines up in the shotgun. Steps up looking. He wants it all going long. The ball is tipped. Heads up play to bat it down. Yeah, and if you can't get to the quarterback or intercept the pass, the next best thing is to get a hand up. Third and five. This is the fifth play of this drive. And the man at wideout is in a zone right now. Back to pass. Throws this one out to the left. Got it. To the 20. And he's tackled. What an amazing catch. First down. Boy, Brad, you said it. That is a big time play there. A spectacular catch and great body control there on the long pass reception. I like what the coach is doing here with this hurry up offense. Watch for this young defense to get a little confused on this play. They come out with a big set. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He unloads it. And it's caught. And they hit him in the backfield. They're stopped two yards behind the line. The defense lines up with six DBs. He steps up. Wants to throw outside. Intercepted in the end zone. He's made better throws than that, and they lose a possible chance at some points. Yeah, but don't forget, this guy's still a young quarterback. He's still learning the position. I'm sure he'll learn from this mistake and now know what to do the next time he's out there in a similar situation. Yeah, for all those people watching at home, remember, Kirk is a quarterback in college. So if you wonder why he's so easy on the kid, when you take it easy, Coach, you look brutal. They'll take over at the 20. They come out in a goal line set. Hut. 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 Up the middle. Yeah. Tries to juke. And they make the stop. Four yard gain by the back. Gain of four on the play. 
Second and six. Ball on the 24. The Mountaineers line up with four wideouts. Folks, let's pause now as we reach the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Pittsburgh 14, West Virginia 7. See what kind of halftime adjustments were made as we prepare to start the second half. Kicks it deep. Number seven fields it in the end zone. Takes off the tackle. And now we'll see the offense coming out onto the field for their next possession. Start this drive at the 30. One man backfield. Big dog, big dog. Cut. Across the middle. Got it. Got some open field. Down the sideline. To the 20, to the 10, and he will score. What an athletic play by the wideout. This guy is one of the most athletic players I've seen all year. He realized in high school this guy was all state in football, basketball, and baseball. He's been making big plays his whole life. Tacks on the extra point. So with under five minutes left in the third quarter, our score, West Virginia, 14, Pittsburgh, 14. West Virginia is ready to kick it away. Number two and number seven back ready to return. Kicks it off. Number seven fields it at the two. And now we'll see the offense coming out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 18. Option. He decides to run with it. Pitch it back. And he's tackled. Seven yard play. On the run. Seven yard gain on the play. It's second down and three to go. Ball on the 25 yard line. The defense sets up with five defensive linemen. They go with the run. He juked him out of his shoes. And down he goes. And he carried that one for a few yards. You know, when you have a guy that can grab five yards or so consistently, it sure takes some of the pressure off the passing game. Pittsburgh comes out with an eye formation. Nice play fake. Steps up, looks. He'll dump this one off. And his fullback. They'll bring him down. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 41. The Panthers line up in a split back set. They'll work the left side. And now he'll lateral it. And he has room to rumble. And he's taken down. And we got an injured player on the field. First 
It's first and ten, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. They line up in a double tight set. Play action. He's looking. Steps up in the pocket. Throws it to the outside. Way to keep your head on a swivel, kid. That was a nice job of locating the football and knocking it down to prevent the completion. Sure was, coach. He put himself in great position to make a play. So it's second and ten. And this is the sixth play of the drive. Number three comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. He steps up, looking. He'll dump this one off. The ball is tipped. He threw that one right at the defensive lineman. Yeah, he's lucky he threw that ball so hard. Otherwise, the guy would have made the catch. He may need an x-ray after this game because he just took a bullet for the team. I wouldn't try anything tricky on defense. This quarterback's looking to make a play. Feeling the pressure. They got to him as he was throwing that time. He's lucky that one wasn't intercepted. Either that or sacked. I don't know how he got rid of the ball. The Panthers are lining up to punt it away. It's a high kick, and it holds up there. Number four calls for the fair catch. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. They'll set up shot at the 20-yard line. The Mountaineers set up in the gun. for a loss. Excellent job by the defense to read the draw play. Yep, the quarterback thought he could spread him out and find a hole for himself to run through, but they were having none of that. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on their own 19. West Virginia lines up in a shotgun set. He drops back. Throws this one out to the right. The ball is tipped. It falls incomplete. Good job there by the defense to get a hand on it. It was, Kirk, but when you're going out for a pass and the ball is in the air, you need to go after it and come down with it. You just can't watch the defender bat it down. It's third down and 11 to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. Number 24 is dangerous. Let's see if they put the ball in his hands. Throws it to the outside. Got it to him on the run. Knocked out of bounds. So on third down, they pick up the first and a lot more. When that kid caught the ball, he wasn't thinking about first down. He was thinking touchdown. First and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. The Mountaineers line up with two tight ends. They are going to pitch it. And down he goes. They tossed it to the running back, and he took it about eight yards. Second and two coming up here, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. They come out with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Looks. He's looking down the middle. He's got it. And he's tackled. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. First and ten. Ball on the 13. And the impact linebacker has turned it up a notch. Here's the option. Brought down. 
That'll be a gain of five. Number 11 lines up in the shotgun. They snap it to the back. And they make the stop. A two-yard run by the halfback. Gain of two on the play. West Virginia comes out in the shotgun. They'll work the right side. Bounces off the would-be tackler. Touchdown, West Virginia. Second touchdown there by the running back. And you could tell he really wanted to get in on that one. Yeah, he showed a lot of determination and heart on that one. That's a nice touchdown. the PAT. Less than a minute remains in the third quarter with the score West Virginia 21 Pittsburgh 14. West Virginia ready to kick this one off. Number seven, back to the we should have a return on this one. Number two fields it in the end zone. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. It's all about execution, my friends. We saw them move the football, but they were unable to move it when it mattered most. And Lee, I think you have to give credit to this defense. They tightened up when they had to, and they're going to look to do the same here. One man backfield. On the ground with the tailback. He jukes it. And he's taken down. And the halfback ripped off a nice gain there to get him the first. Hey, this kid's a good looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. First and 10. Ball on the 34 yard line. When this quarterback's in the zone, as he is now, he can do a lot of damage to the defense. Throw short, in and out of his hand. Drop pass. That'll drive the coach crazy. That'll drive the quarterback crazy. And that'll drive the fans crazy. Well, I'm sure he'll get an earful when he gets to the sideline. You bet he will. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball in the 34. The Panthers line up in an eye formation. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Off his hands, incomplete. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on their own 34. The Panthers with four receivers. He drops back. Throws this one out to the left. Got it. Big opening to the 20, to the 10. Goodbye. And the touchdowns continue to pile up for that receiver. Yo, this kid has scored 18 points all by himself. I can't recall ever scoring that many points in my playing days. <laughs> Maybe in Peavy or something. <laughs>
And he tacks on the extra point. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. Team fields it in the end zone. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. They'll go to work at the 17. will start the drive at the 17-yard line. First and 10. High formation here. Inside give, he jukes. They'll bring him down. The halfback runs for four yards. And that'll do it for the third quarter. And at the end of three, the scoreboard dead even. It's second down and six to go. Ball on their own 21. The Mountaineers come out in a shotgun. On the ground, up the middle. Tackle. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. One yard gain on the play. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 22. West Virginia comes to the line with three wide. And the snap goes to the back. And they make the stop. A two yard run by the halfback. Punt this one away. Number 18 gets it off. Number 7 signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 36-yard line. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. So if I'm the coach, I'm telling my defensive lineman to get more pressure on that quarterback. Please. They come out of the nickel. Nice play fake. He's looking down the middle, and it falls incomplete. I know that pass was fired pretty hard, but you still have to catch it. That's right. The only reason it's out there is to catch the football. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 36. They line up in an eye. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Brought down. The halfback gets the call and picks up five. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. The Panther set up in the gun. Back to pass. Short. It's intercepted. Sheds that one. Oh, he got tattooed on that one. And the defense comes up with another one. Hey, good job by that defense to get the ball back. field position to start the drive. The Mountaineer line up with two tight ends. On the ground with the tailback. Makes a move. Tackle. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball 
ball successfully like that, that defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. Over the top. First and ten. They're in the red zone. Three wide outs here. They'll throw on first down. And it's the senior. Fumbles the ball. Number 12 recovers a loose ball. Great play by the defender to pick up that ball for the recovery. It was a clutch play as well. Now their team has all the momentum. What a great game. Fourth quarter, all tied up. Does it get any better than this, Kurt? Nope, it really doesn't. These fans are getting their money's worth today, that's for sure. First and ten. Ball on the 26. The Panthers come out in the ace formation. Drops back to pass. Steps up. He's looking. With the throw. Complete. They'll bring him down at the 35-yard line. Penalty marker down in the backfield. Might be a holding call. First and a foul. Roughing the passer. You'll get a 15-yard penalty against him for that late hit. They'll throw the flag every time if you take down the quarterback in that fashion. First and 10. Ball right around midfield. The Panthers line up with two tight ends. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He zips it out. And he can't make the catch. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball in the 50. Pittsburgh goes with the ace set here. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Wants to throw outside. The ball is knocked to the ground. Players use anything they can to get in the way of a pass. Third down and ten coming up. Ball right around midfield. The defense needs to be mistake free. This quarterback is very capable of making them pay right now. Here comes the pressure. Throws this one out to the right. Someone got a hand on it. The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big-time playmaker, he better start getting two hands on it. Yeah, that ball should have been picked off there. The Panthers line up the punt. Number 18 punts it, and it's a good one. Number 19 calls for the fair catch. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll start this drive at the 20. Number 11 has four receivers lined up here. They'll throw on first down. Throw. And he can't hang on to it. A bullet to the receiver, but he couldn't hang on. This quarterback put that ball right where it needed to be. That guy's got to make the catch. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. West Virginia sets up with four receivers. It's a direct snap. Spins upfield. Broke away from one. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running one. When you break one like that, you've got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 32. Go 
with the shotgun here. And they hit him in the backfield. And they snuffed out the quarterback draw there. Yep. There was absolutely nowhere for the quarterback to run on that play. Good job by this defense. Second and 11. Ball on their own 31. High formation here. They hand it off. Laid the lumber to him. One, two, three. Kirk, he might be out for the count. Oh, what a hit. You know, at the end of the year, you're going to look back at this and remember this is one of the hits of the year. That guy can really bring it. Third and 11 coming up here. This is the fifth play of this drive. Number 11 comes to the line with three wide. Looking, pressure coming. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Pittsburgh calls a timeout. Seven takes it to 32 at the 40. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. First and 10. Ball in the 35. The Panthers come out in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Wants to throw outside. And he's tackled. The lineup made a good looking grab there. You're right. And the quarterback threw it as soon as he saw he had that extra step. Second and less than a yard. Ball in the 25. Three wideouts here on the ground with a tailback. And they make the stop. He got back to the line of scrimmage, but not much more. Pittsburgh takes a timeout. It's third and inches. Ball in the 25-yard line. Number three with three wide receivers. There's a play fake. He's going to go for the home run. And down he goes. Do they have that defense guessing now or what? I mean, did you see how well the quarterback hid the ball? Yeah, some quarterbacks are just so good at selling the play action. It's truly an overlooked skill. You take my friend Kirk here, for example. He wasn't known for his speed, but boy, he could do a good play fake. Are you calling me slow? This is coming from a guy whose nickname is based on his foot speed. Isn't that right, Scooter? Yeah, left out sunshine. It's sunshine, Scooter, sweetheart. And he hits the PAT. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. Sailing downfield. Number seven fields it in the end zone. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll get the ball here at the 20 yard line. Number 11 is back in the gun. They'll throw on first down. 
Throws to the middle. Got it to his receiver. West Virginia calls a timeout. It's first and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. West Virginia comes out in the shotgun. Wants to throw outside. And he's got him on the fly. West Virginia takes a timeout. First and 10. Ball on the 38. One man backfield. He drops back. Looks. Rolls right. Over the middle. And he dropped it. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Going with the shotgun here. Drops back to pass. Down the middle. The fullback makes the grab. Tackle. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. West Virginia comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. They'll give it off here. They'll bring him down. He may have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. Watch the linebacker. He's the star of the defense, and he's in the zone right now. Defense has it. It's the linebacker. Not a good time to fumble the football. And that guy feels horrible about it. He's got to forget about it. Go out there and play hard the next time they hit the field. And believe me, this kid wants another chance to redeem himself. He won't fumble again. Set up shot at the 26. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And he takes a knee. West Virginia calls a timeout. It's second down and 12 to go. Ball on their own 24. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And he'll just kneel it here. Third and 14 coming up here. All on their own 22. Another hard-fought game between these two rivals. Was this what you expected to see? Pittsburgh comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. Folks, thanks for tuning in to our game. Our final score, Pittsburgh 28, West Virginia 21. Our thanks go out to everyone here at EA Sports. I'm Brad Nessler for Kirk Street and Lee Corso signing off. Until next time, so long, everybody.